for my um, inspiration from Pinterest. week's video also if you're seeing a mess like the mess back here it's because I've literally emptied out my office so I can put everything in so that explains that and I definitely remember to film an intro at the very beginning of this and not while I'm doing the actual makeover <laughs> this video has unfortunately taken me weeks to film because of who I am as a person <laughs> um today I wanted to show you guys a little makeover that I did for my office slash desk area I'll insert a little clip here but this is what it looked like before um, it is quite messy, my partner and I share this space together. Um, I primarily use this space during the day to work and then at night it turns into a little gaming space because that's where my PC is. I know it looks super cluttered and I really wanted to turn this into something more practical but at the same time still cute and aesthetic. I have obviously taken a lot of um, inspiration from Pinterest but at the same time I really want to put my own spin my own razzle dazzle on it so I'll be making my own art and then hanging them up anyways I'll stop talking now so we can get to doing um, but yeah I really hope you enjoyed my little desk makeover problem. You want to get the left floating shelves, but I think it's, not, huh? it's, not long it's too long for the car. And I know why I'm paying $40 for a fucking shelf to get it delivered, so we might get some picture ledge instead and then put them in upside down. Mm -hmm. So this is the state of my room right now. I know it looks really bad and that's because it is bad. This desk came with the apartment. We didn't actually want it, but it was so big that it was just too much of a hassle to bring out at the time. But I wish I did it. Oh, I wish we did it before we moved everything in because now we have to clean all this shit up and get rid of it. And yeah, we're going to replace it with the, the couch shelf. And yeah, time to clean up this place. So far, we have a clean slate. I know that doesn't quite line up, which is really annoying, but I don't know what to do about it.
this took so long but i definitely did it all myself and i didn't need any help um it is a bit scary seeing it on just one stand but at first i was really worried that my desk wouldn't be able to withstand the weight of the stand of the arm sorry and the monitor but then i was like wait my monitors is already on my desk like it should be sorry i'm stupid anyways that's the biggest step done um got some kind of organization on my cables it's still pretty bad but you know it actually looks a lot better than before so i can't complain that much so essentially what we've done is you see how there's like different shelves here we've taken we haven't put this one in on this side just because i wanted to fit my pc in and not have it on the floor anymore it originally was on the floor on a little like trolley thingy um i don't know what it's called but yeah she's in now she is a little bit dusty so we need to take care of that soon okay so one of the first thing i wanted to do in terms of like art and stuff is a little calendar i'm sure you've seen like one of these pinterest calendars before i really love them i really want to make my own one so what i've been doing is literally like go through all my photos and see like what items i can grab to so like insert that element in my own calendar so so far i've got my animals and a few food that i really like like over the i okay my love language is food or like eating so i'm gonna put an element of that in there whether it's like a home cooked meal i made or like i went somewhere with my friends and then i think i'll take a few photos of whatever I love just in my house. <laughs> Is that really cringe? I don't know, but I really want to put my own personal touch in this, so.
Okay, so I really wanted to take this chance to do a little room tour of my office, if you will. So just to sum up, basically my partner and I share this space. So this is what it looks like when you sort of just peek in. This is after the makeover, of course. Um, the first thing you actually see is my partner's side of the desk. I know it looks a bit sad because it is. Um, he is using my old setup. Basically, he's had this monitor, his own monitor for a while. It's quite big and it just didn't look good in general the quality just wasn't great so he's using my old monitor instead along with my old um, monitor uh, table thingy also i do feel like i need to clarify why i have a bigger space so i actually use this space a lot more than my partner does i used to primarily work within this office work from home um, and he only uses this space for gaming hence why this is all that, I mean, it's not all that he gets, but uh, he can use my setup anytime he wants, but he just plays games on this. And of course, to the side is my own setup. I've got my monitor hooked up to my MacBook because I do prefer using the Mac OS. I'm not pitting Mac OS and Windows against each other because I use both and they just serve different purposes for me. And for me, designing is more align with what I do day to day so I do use my Mac a lot more than my Windows PC anyway let's move on <laughs> um, obviously this is a little different from what I did during the actual video but I did change the setup a little bit um, one of the few things I actually picked up from Ikea the other day was this little hook thing I didn't realize that they sell hooks as well I've been putting them in that little nest a uh, little net thing over there it was still good but I just had a lot more cables than I needed so that's where they are got my little no face buddy over here I honestly didn't know what to do with this little basket right here I originally was going to put my headphones in there because I didn't like the idea of hanging them but it just looked a bit odd so I decided to use it to decorate and yeah that's my partner's um, old keyboards it still works we might use it sometimes but it just retired for <laughs> for now and of course photos of me and Paige my best friend photos of me and my partner when we were like really young and I don't know I have a lot of like random things like this like this little thing here I thought it was cute so I hung them up um, my headphones and airpods and yeah if you notice I do have my wide earphones as well it's really good for when I need to edit and I need to do it quickly um, so over here when I, if I close my macbook this one is where this net basket is where I have my hard drive it's actually really convenient because I can just hook it up from here straight to my macbook and the old polaroid camera that doesn't work but it is very pretty this cable management thing that I got from Ikea this is the LED also from Ikea and you can tell I really love Ikea so up here we have a little calendar which I can't even use yet because it's not 2024 basically a compilation of things that I love from my house and yeah here's a bit of art that I made so that's Benny and Rosie uh, my pets and bacon moo and peach peach is actually missing her eyebrows I'm not sure what happened to her eyebrows if you have been a long time subscribers you would know this is my cake that i made for my 50 subscribers celebration so that's what that is if you're wondering my little froggy cake so this shelf was the whole reason i did the makeover in the first place i really needed a change and yeah this really random stuff here, here is my makeup we've got my mirror up here some lamps that I don't have a space for so actually this was the office lamp so this belongs here but that one is the one that I don't quite use the little mushroom lamp there's not many important things in here this is the DS I had originally up but I was a bit scared would fall off so that's where all my book tags are more photos and yeah I still need so some pens I still need to organize this space a bit more so I finally put up those shelves these are picture ledgers that I was gonna put upside down but I didn't end up doing it I don't remember why but this one is so frustrating this is plaster so I couldn't redrill it because it's so close to each other but this gap is killing me I think 
what I'll do is put some plaster to fill it, but yeah. Anyway, so the, here are all the collectibles I have. I would have loved to put some Pop Mart stuff up here, but they don't really go with the themes, the one that I have already. So here are just some figurines that are my favorite. And down here, of course, is my little stationery station. Um, got my printer here that was originally on the other corner. Here I keep all my stickers, notepads, and all my journals. And this little thing is all my cables, which I use a lot. And there's nothing in here at the moment. So here is another look of my setup with the overhead lights off and the LEDs are on. My keyboard is also very glowy and cute. This table is actually a shelf I bought from Ikea. It's a, I believe, a floating shelf. And for the legs, I use plumbing pipes as legs. So these are $3 each and this whole thing cost me like less than $30, I think. There's a hack for you. I really love it. That is it friends for this room tour slash desk makeover. I really hope you enjoyed this one. Um, hopefully it has inspired you to decorate your space. Um, if not, that is okay too. Um, anyways, as always, um, thank you so much for sticking around and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, take care.